What's up guys, Steve Conroy with Lugaway Junk Removal and Demolition. You asked, you shall receive. Quick video on how to draw up an invoice. But first, we cleared the shop out. And by cleared, I mean organized. Before photo I'll put in here of the shit show that it was. And then this. Nice and clean, organized. Snowblower for the boys. Got a new mascot. Mugging over here, Lucy Lugaway. She bites, she bites. All right, so video on how to draw up an invoice. Very short, very sweet. I'm gonna go into some details um, past the invoice, record keeping, stuff like that. But the way I do it, it's not on an app, it's not on a computer program, it's old school by the book. So this is what you got right here, your sales book. So I got a new one up here. So you got, your info on the top here, Lugaway LLC, Premier Removal Service, serving the greater Boston area, some info. And then you got name, date, address, phone number, and then this area right here where you document what you did for the job. So when I draw up the invoice, this one goes for me, this one goes to my customer, and this one is for your sales, um, for your, your records basically. Um, this thing here, you put between invoices so that your writing doesn't bleed. So, let's do a little mock here. Let's see, uh, did some work for the Muffin Man. On, what's today? Fifth. 56, 58. Jury Lane, Candyland. And want to make this a little more legible for the old customer of yours. Um, all right, so, and it's true, the Muffin Man does live in a two family. He's got his mother in law on the other side. Absolute nightmare over there, but they pay on time, so a uh, good repeat customer. So we took a truckload of muffins from old Muffin Man. Hit him with the 500 bones for the muffins. Have anything else? Sure did. He's got a TV, 25 bones for that. And we pulled two ACs, 25 for those. You know, his mother-in-law's over there. She's got to keep the place cool. Uh, so we're rocking 575 for a total here for the old muffin manifestation. So I draw this up in the truck. I go up to the muffin man, flip it. I say, hey, here's your receipt. Thank you for business. He'll then hand me a check. Um, I only get paid cash, check, or Venmo. So he'll hand me a check on the spot. If not, I will write down my mailing address on this. You can put it up here. I don't have it on there, but I'll write down my mailing address on this or I'll put my Venmo handle in this open space here. Uh, you obviously want to get paid on the spot. Uh, sometimes, you know, people don't have it up front and on the checkbook, whatever. Um, so I'll hand that to him and say, you know, check now or you can mail it to us, whatever. You can see here, I got um, checks from some uh, the bank um, mailed to us. So you can have them mail it to you. Obviously, like I said, you wanna collect it on the spot, but sometimes they don't have the means. Venmo works also. I Like I said, cash check or Venmo. We don't do credit cards. I've never had an issue with that. Um, it is what it is. So. You hand this to him, boom, that's done. He hands you a check, right? You pull this off, take it, put it in your notebook, you put the check with it, and that's done. So what happens with all this stuff right here? Let's go over here to my computer that has been soaked a couple times. Glad it still works. And input everything into an Excel spreadsheet. So in that Excel spreadsheet, I have the customer's first name, their last name, the address of the job, the date of the job, what we took, how, um, not how long it was, what we took, the cost of the job, and the ad source, um, and their email as well. You wanna get the ad source, you wanna get the email. You're not gonna know where your jobs are coming from if you don't document the ad source. You want their email so you can blast off like, you know, like fall deals or spring, summer deals, whatever it is. Um, so you need to document all of that. So at the end of the month, once that's all input, inputted into Excel, I take 
the white slip, which is my invoices, I put that in a manila envelope, all of the invoices that I've had, which is basically my receivables, because I've deposited all of those um, all of those checks, that's in one manila envelope. In a second manila envelope, I have all the pink slips, which is all my sales, because I may not have been paid for jobs we did at the end of the month if we didn't get paid on the spot, and if I did, maybe I didn't deposit those before the end of the month. So the white invoices document what you've deposited for the month. The pink invoices, the pink slip, um, represents your sales, what you did total for the sales for the month. And then, you know, I have a manila envelope for um, the dump slips, for my gas and credit card stuff. You can, you know, you can mix the, the dump slips in there too, but I have, I have them separate. Um, and that's basically that. That will allow you to reconcile your books um, whether that's you or a bookkeeper, um, and make sure all the numbers add up and make sure that the money coming in that's owed to you, um, you know, comes in and is, uh, <laughs> is deposited in your bank account. So that's honestly it. I mean, it seems like it's a lot of work. It's really not. You show up to the house, you do the job, you draw up the invoice, they pay you, you deposit the check at the end of the week with the rest of your checks, um, you staple the receipt to your invoices, and that's it. You only input it into here so that you can document um, your customers, where your jobs are coming from, stuff like that. Um, there are apps that basically do all this for you and it throws everything into QuickBooks. Um, I don't do that. My, my bookkeeper doesn't do QuickBooks. We, we do it all old school. It's just how we've been doing it and we're in a really good rhythm. Um, I have you know, no problem doing this. I can do this in my sleep. My bookkeeper takes care of everything. Very easy. Um, but I am looking to switch over um, to something. I'm in a trial right now. Um, and my reason being for that is because now looking for a driver to be full-time, they're gonna be writing invoices. It's too difficult for them to you know, do it this way. It's, it's, it's too kind of designed for me um, and my system. So having a, a, a platform um, for them to use is easy. But then you gotta set up QuickBooks and then I gotta get my bookkeeper involved with the QuickBooks and reconcile that. And there's, I, you no longer visually see everything. It's all on, uh, it's all electronic, which I guess you can still see, but it's just different. After you've, you've been doing something for so long, it's just, it's tough to switch over to that. Um, but I'm looking into it, so I'll make another video and update you um, on the platform that I, I wind up going with. Um, that should be, you know, something that I take care of hopefully sooner than later. We're pretty busy right now, so I don't really, it, it's tough to learn this stuff um, while you're, you know, out in the field and everything. Uh, so that's kind of it for drawing up an invoice, guys. I'm sure you're gonna have questions, um, and I'm happy to upload another video to answer them. Um, Obviously, I'm making all of this stuff for educational purposes for you guys, trying to show you how I do things, iron out kinks for you. Um, but that's really it for drawing up an invoice. It's as simple as getting a, a nice looking sales book with your info on it, and you know that's kind of that. So to all the subscribers, thank you very much. For new subscribers, ding that bell, make that puppy ring, subscribe to the channel. All educational purposes for you guys. I know you like the day in the lifes, it's too damn hot for a day in the life right now. I can't even see half of the time I got sweat beating in my eyes. Um, so that's gonna be on the back burner for a little, unless I get like a light day, which we might have coming up Friday of next week. So we might get some footage there. Um, other than that, that's really it for now. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's staying profitable. If you're thinking about starting a business, this is a great channel um, for you to uh, either subscribe to or at least watch the videos and, and try and learn something new.